Joseph Murphy says that whatever we experience in our lives is an effect or manifestation of our thoughts. He named it the Law of Cause and Effect. In this video we will discuss what the Law of Cause and Effect according to Joseph Murphy is and how it differs from Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption. We will also be discussing how you can use the Law of Cause and Effect to manifest your desires. So this is a very special video for those who are struggling to manifest their desires. By putting the Law of Cause and Effect into practice, you will immediately manifest your biggest desire in your life. So don't skip this video, watch it to the end. And if you are new to our channel, subscribe to it and press the bell icon for more content on manifestation. So let's now get started. Murphy was a prominent figure in the field of personal development and spirituality, and his teachings on the law of cause and effect have had a significant impact on many people seeking to improve their lives. According to Joseph Murphy, the law of cause and effect is a fundamental principle that governs the universe. In his book, The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, Murphy wrote, Every thought is a cause, and every condition is an effect. This quote highlights the central idea behind the law of cause and effect, that our thoughts and actions create the experiences we have in life. Murphy believed that our thoughts and beliefs are like seeds that we plant in our minds, and these seeds eventually grow into the experiences we have in life. According to Murphy, the law of cause and effect operates on multiple levels, including the physical, mental, and spiritual levels. He believed that our thoughts and emotions have a direct impact on our physical health, as well as on our ability to attract abundance and success in our lives. Murphy wrote, Your subconscious mind is the builder of your body and can heal you. Lull yourself to sleep every night with the idea of perfect health, and your subconscious, being your faithful servant, will obey you. Murphy also believed that our thoughts and beliefs have a direct impact on our relationships and our ability to attract love and happiness into our lives. He wrote, your subconscious mind is the seat of your emotions and is the creative mind. If you think good, good will follow. If you think evil, evil will follow. This quote emphasizes the importance of cultivating positive thoughts and beliefs in order to attract positive experiences into our lives. In order to manifest our desires, Murphy believed that we must align our conscious and subconscious minds so that they are working together towards the same goals. If our conscious mind wants one thing but our subconscious mind believes something else, we will experience resistance and struggle in our efforts to achieve our goals. On the other hand, when our conscious and subconscious minds are in alignment, we can create a positive feedback loop that reinforces our desired outcomes. Murphy also emphasized the importance of taking responsibility for our thoughts and actions and not blaming external circumstances for our experiences. He wrote, You are the master of your fate the captain of your soul because you have the power to control your thoughts. This quote highlights the idea that we are not victims of fate or circumstance, but rather active participants in the creation of our lives. Murphy believed that we have the power to choose our thoughts and beliefs, and that by doing so, we can create the life we desire. In addition to these teachings, Murphy also emphasized the power of visualization and affirmation in manifesting our desires. He believed that by visualizing our desired outcomes and affirming them to ourselves repeatedly, we can program our subconscious mind to work towards those outcomes. Murphy wrote, Your subconscious mind will accept your beliefs and convictions as true, and it will proceed to bring them into your experience. Finally, Murphy believed that the law of cause and effect is not limited to individual experiences, but also operates on a collective level. He wrote, The law of cause and effect is impersonal and its operation is not restricted to individuals but extends to nations, races, and all of humanity. This quote highlights the idea that our thoughts and actions can have a ripple effect that impacts the world around us. Murphy believed that by cultivating positive thoughts and beliefs, we can contribute to a more positive and harmonious world. Now let's discuss what the difference is between Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption and Joseph Murphy's Law of Cause and Effect. As we know, Neville Goddard and Joseph Murphy were both prominent figures in the fields of personal development, spirituality, and manifestation. Their teachings have changed the lives of millions of people. Both Neville Goddard's Law of Assumption and Joseph Murphy's Law of Cause and Effect share some similarities, but also have some key differences. The Law of Assumption, according to Neville Goddard, is the idea that our beliefs and assumptions create our reality. Goddard believed that our consciousness is the creative force behind all that we experience in life. He wrote, Assumptions harden into fact, 
which highlights the central idea behind the law of assumption, that our assumptions and beliefs create the experiences we have in life. Similarly, Joseph Murphy's law of cause and effect emphasizes the idea that our thoughts and actions create our reality. Murphy wrote, every thought is a cause and every condition is an effect. This quote highlights the central idea behind the law of cause and effect, that our thoughts and actions create the experiences we have in life. Both Goddard and Murphy believe that our thoughts and beliefs have a direct impact on our experiences in life. They both emphasize the importance of cultivating positive thoughts and beliefs in order to attract positive experiences into our lives. Both also believed in the power of visualization and affirmation to manifest our desires. However, there are also some key differences between Goddard's law of assumption and Murphy's law of cause and effect. One difference is in their emphasis on the role of the subconscious mind. Goddard believed that the subconscious mind is the source of our beliefs and assumptions and that by changing our subconscious beliefs, we can change our reality. He wrote, the subconscious is the builder of the body and the conscious is the director of the subconscious. In contrast, Murphy focused more on the conscious mind and the power of our thoughts and beliefs to create our reality. Another difference between the two teachings is their emphasis on action. Goddard believed that taking inspired action was an important part of manifesting our desires. He wrote, Faith is not complete until it is expressed in action. According to Goddard, it was not enough to simply visualize and affirm our desires. We also had to take action toward them. In contrast, Murphy placed more emphasis on the power of our thoughts and beliefs to attract our desires into our lives. Another difference between the two teachings is their focus on the present moment. Goddard emphasized the importance of living in the present moment and embodying the feeling of having our desires already fulfilled. He wrote, The feeling of a wish fulfilled is the feeling we have when we know that our desire is fulfilled. According to Goddard, it was not enough to simply visualize our desires. We also had to embody the feeling of already having them. In contrast, Murphy's teachings focused more on the power of our thoughts and beliefs to create our future reality. Now let's discuss how you can use the law of cause and effect to manifest your desires. Joseph Murphy's law of cause and effect is a powerful tool for manifesting our desires. This law teaches us that our thoughts and actions have a direct impact on our experiences in life. In other words, what we think and do determines what we attract into our lives. By understanding and applying this law, we can create the reality we want and live the life of our dreams. To use the law of cause and effect for manifesting our desires, we must first understand the power of our thoughts. Our thoughts are energy, and they have a vibrational frequency. When we think positively, we emit positive vibrations that attract positive experiences into our lives. On the other hand, when we think negatively, we emit negative vibrations that attract negative experiences. Therefore, it's essential to cultivate positive thoughts and beliefs if we want to manifest our desires. We must focus on what we want, rather than what we don't want. We must believe that we are worthy of having what we desire, and we must trust that the universe will bring it to us. By doing so, we raise our vibration and create a magnetic force that attracts our desires into our lives. One of the most effective ways to cultivate positive thoughts and beliefs is through affirmations. Affirmations are positive statements that we repeat to ourselves regularly. They help us reprogram our subconscious mind with positive thoughts and beliefs. For example, if we want to manifest abundance, we can repeat affirmations such as, I am worthy of abundance, I attract abundance into my life, and money flows easily and effortlessly to me. Another powerful tool for manifesting our desires is visualization. Visualization is the process of creating a mental image of what we want. When we visualize ourselves already having what we desire, we send a powerful message to our subconscious mind that this is what we want. The subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between reality and imagination, so it accepts the mental image as reality. To visualize effectively, we must engage all our senses. We must see, hear, smell, taste, and feel what it's like to have what we desire. For example, if we want to manifest a new car, we can visualize ourselves sitting in the driver's seat, feeling the leather seats, smelling the new car smell, hearing the engine running, and seeing ourselves driving down the road with a smile on our faces. Taking inspired action is also an important part of manifesting our desires. Inspired action means taking action that is aligned with our desire and feels good to us. We must be open to opportunities and take action when they arise. 
we must trust our intuition and take steps toward our goal. This action shows our subconscious mind that we are serious about manifesting our desire, and it begins to work on creating opportunities for us. However, it's important to remember that action alone is not enough. We must also have the right mindset and beliefs. If we take action but don't believe that we can have what we desire, we will sabotage ourselves. Therefore, cultivating positive thoughts and beliefs is essential for successful manifestation. One of the biggest obstacles to manifesting our desires is resistance. Resistance is the negative energy that we create when we doubt ourselves or our ability to manifest our desires. Resistance can come in the form of fear, doubt, or limiting beliefs. We must release this resistance if we want to manifest our desires. To release resistance, we must first become aware of it. We must identify the negative thoughts and beliefs that are holding us back. Once we are aware of them, we can begin to challenge them and replace them with positive thoughts and beliefs. For example, if we have a limiting belief that we don't deserve to be happy, we can challenge this belief by asking ourselves, what evidence do I have to support this belief? Is there any evidence that contradicts it? By questioning our beliefs, we can begin to identify any limiting beliefs that may be holding us back from manifesting our desires. Once we have identified any limiting beliefs, we can begin to replace them with positive affirmations and beliefs that support our desires. For example, if we have the belief that we are not worthy of success, we can replace that belief with the affirmation, I am worthy of success and abundance in all areas of my life. In addition to affirmations, visualization is another powerful tool for manifesting our desires using the law of cause and effect. Visualization involves creating a mental image of the desired outcome and imagining it as if it has already happened. By visualizing our desires, we activate the law of cause and effect and begin to attract the people, circumstances, and resources necessary to make them a reality. It is also important to cultivate a strong sense of faith and belief that our desires are already on their way to us. As Murphy wrote, believe you receive and you shall receive. By having faith in our desires, we open ourselves up to receiving the abundance that the universe has in store for us. We hope this video will help many of you overcome your desires using the law of cause and effect. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos on Joseph Murphy's and Neville Goddard's teachings. We will be back to you soon with another amazing video. Until then, see you in the next video.